In this video, we got a 250,000 MT pack opening for these new glitch packs. And in these packs, guys, we got Pink Diamond Gary Payton, who looks to be one of the best point guards in the game. We got Diamond Draws and Petrovic, who looks to be a really good three, uh, really good three and D shooting guard. We got Amethyst Robert Williams, who's going to be another really good budget center. And then we got the three rubies to Amethyst, or three rubies to Diamond Evos, Montrez Harrell, PJ Tucker, and THT. So I will say overall, looks to be a pretty decent drop, but hopefully we can get some Diamond and Pink Diamond Shakes. Like I said, 250,000 MT, and let's get right into this pack opening. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about this glitch promo? Let me know what you guys think about the Gary Payton and all of the, you know, Ruby Evos. Let me know what you guys think about the Robert Williams, and let me know what you guys think about the Draws and Petrovic. Overall, guys, I mean, Gary Payton's stats and badges look absolutely amazing for a point guard. I will say I'm not exactly sure what his jump shot's going to look like. I think it's Gary Payton the second jumper, not his actual jump shot. So if you guys want to test out his jump shot, you can use a Series 1 gold card from uh the gary payne the second i think he's on the trailblazers now I'm pretty sure he's on the Trailblazers, so you can use his jump shot and test out, you know, what Gary Payne's jump shot would look like. But overall, I mean, I think it's going to be a very solid content drop. I mean, I think Draws and Petrovic is going to be another very good shooting guard. He should be fairly cheap. And then that Amethyst Robert Williams is going to be an amazing budget center. He'll probably only be like 10 to 20,000 MT, maybe even cheaper. And he's going to be a great center or power forward because he's got like an 88 three ball. He's, he's obviously a great defender, and I think he's glitch dunking wise. So he's going to be a really, really good finish around the rim i'm not sure if he's glitched shooting or if he's glitched um with the athleticism because he's got really good strength and really good vertical as well so overall i mean i think there's some good budget players i think there's some top cards in the game like gary payton who i think is going to be a top three point guard at his or i think he's going to be a top three point guard in the game as we finally do get our first ruby from the set and that is going to be tht i'm kind of excited to see what the evils look like hopefully the evils aren't as bad and hopefully you don't need as many steals so far though we haven't really seen any good shakes like we haven't even seen the amethyst robert williams so hopefully our packs can change if you guys are opening packs let me know what you guys pull in the comment section down below i think we spent about seventy-five thousand mt and we literally haven't even seen one singular shake so packs once again on a tuesday are going to be really really questionable i had a really good pack run like i pulled uh pink diamond lebron on the nightmare well, like when the nightmare packs came out on friday and then the next tuesday the last glitch set when we got the ray allen i pulled two ray allens in the matter of like three or four packs i think now we have pulled all the rubies from the glitch set we pulled pj Tucker, Montrez, Hale, and then obviously THT. So we have pulled all of the uh, rubies, which is kind of nice. I mean, I might Evo those to try to make profit. Those cards really don't look to be the best. I mean, PJ Tucker stats wise looks to be a really good card, but he's missing a lot of key badges, not going to have the best playmaking stats, and he's only what, six foot five. So I think PJ Tucker could be pretty decent, but other than that, I mean, THT doesn't really look to be the best, and Montrez Hale doesn't really look to be the best as well. Unless he has like, if he's glitched three point shooting, he might not actually be that bad of a center, but we've ripped over over 100,000 MT and we still haven't seen one single shake like these Tuesday pack guys are absolutely terrible as we are going to get another Montrez Harrell like I was saying though let me know in the comment section down below what you guys do pull if you got let me know if you guys pull a pink diamond a diamond from these set if you guys are opening these packs I obviously wouldn't recommend it I mean you guys can see from my pack look like these packs really aren't worth it I don't think any packs necessarily are worth opening but especially Tuesday packs I feel like usually have terrible odds like the fact that we've ripped this much MT and we haven't even seen one singular shake is kind of disappointing so hopefully our pack look and turn around but we spent I think 150,000 MT, and we literally haven't seen one singular shake, not even an Amethyst Robert Williams. So at this point, guys, we are just gonna really need to see that pink diamond shake for Gary Payton. I'd love to have, I would love to add Gary Payton to the squad or sell him and probably make a good amount of MT for him, but I probably, I probably end up keeping him on my lineup because, like I said, I think Gary Payton's gonna be an amazing point guard. I think he could possibly be the best point guard in the game. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. Let me know if you guys, let me know what you guys think about Gary Payton. Do you guys think he's gonna be the best point guard or maybe top five? maybe top three let me know your thoughts down below we have about four more packs to go in this pack opening and man these packs have been just been god awful like the fact that we haven't seen one singular shake like the fact that we're gonna go 250,000 mt into these packs and we're not even gonna see one amethyst shake that's gonna probably go for like 10,000 mt the fact that you can't even see one amethyst is kind of ridiculous but we'll just see what we do get in these last couple packs i think we got two more after this one we are gonna get a holo card but i really don't care we're just here to see some diamonds or some pink diamonds shakes at this point we're just trying to see some shakes man we got two more packs second last pack here of the pack opening and it's just going to be once again another ruby pj tucker that i guess we'll send to our auction house but yeah guys last pack of the pack opening i mean these packs were just i don't even know how to describe them i mean 250,000 mt 
and we don't see one one singular shake so not much i can do but hopefully you guys did enjoy like i said let me know what you guys think about the promo in the comment section down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace